Hey folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors and Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an All Star Day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. Rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one-stop shop. Check out our new website where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. It is time now for the pregame show brought to you by All Star Motors here at Rock Mart. And now let's go to the Rock Mart High School with Robert Torline and Danny Forsyth. Well, good evening, everybody. Robert Torline here, like you said, Danny Forsyth. We're doing a pregame show for All Star Motors, and uh, it's a beautiful day out here. They're going to get started a little bit early, so we're probably going to take this into the lineups, Danny. But okay. uh, but uh, glad to to have uh, All Star Motors on board with us. And talk about us right now. Our season, I thought we were 4-0 in region. We're actually 3-0 in region. And uh, we're going to go for 4-0 today against Coosa. They did come back here, but they are the home team. So we'll be batting first. Um, oh, because it's actually their home game. I got you. So, and in the region, we're leading in the region. Um, and I think we got some more information real quick. Is, uh Three and zero as well. Yeah, Chattooga's three and zero. Pepperell's two and one. Models two and one. Our Murchie is one and two. Dade County one and two. And Coos and Gordon Center are both zero and three. So, you know, Chattooga always always tough, right? Um, when we play them, and uh, so we need to go ahead and finish this victory out here. Chattooga right now is eleven and three on the season. They played a few extra games, haven't they? Yeah. So uh, they're going to be they're going to be a good challengers for us, but. Uh, but no, excited about uh, um, um, tonight's matchup. But we're going to take a, a small break for a national anthem. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors and Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. And you are listening to the pregame show being brought to you by All Star Motors here in Rock Mart. Appreciate them being with us on the pregame show. And we'll be joining Robert and Danny in just a second. Stay with us. Hey, folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors in Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website, where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. All right, welcome back to the free game show from the All Star Motors. And like you said, they're not going to turn away anybody if you go in there and if you get a job, they'll get you a car. Um, so go down and see Bill Scherfsey and his fine people, and they'll be more happy to take care of you. But back to what we got going on here is, uh, like I said, Rock Mart right now um, is 6 and 5, 3 and 0 in region. Um, you know, we, we've had our ups and downs. 
Right. We're, we're getting stuck last year. We're, we're starting to hit later on in, in the innings. Right. I'd like to see a change, and I think it will hit real soon with this warmer weather. Oh, yes. To where we can do something beginning. But once again, the sun here is terrible at this time of the day. Um, we're used to it. The other team is not. So uh, it's, it's going to really be a challenge for, for both teams at first. So I know you're still filling out the book there, Danny. I appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, well, you know, you know, like uh, usually uh, Rumble, they've played some pretty good competition early on. Uh, that's kind of Coach Wise's philosophy. So the record can be a little bit misleading. Right. Because I know they've played uh, Harrison High School, big 7 eight school, and they've played. Uh, Did real well to the very end. And... Kind of. So, and then, uh, you know, they went on the trip down south where they played uh, Jeff Davis and Thomasville, some of those guys, yep. and done well down there. Well, the big and, thing is, is they're like me. The warmer weather comes in. This is baseball season. I know, man. It's, this is beautiful. If you haven't been out, you got plenty of time to come out and watch a good game tonight, guys. Uh, beautiful stadium. Walmart has moved from third base to first base side. Right. Uh, it kind of messes me up every time I come up. I, I think they did that because of the, uh, the building we have behind us, which is nice. But we're going to go ahead and end this pregame show uh, and get ready to start for the first pitch. And you have been listening to the pregame show brought to you by All Star Motors here in Rock Mart. Hey folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors in Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on-site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one-stop shop. Check out our new website, where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All-Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. It's time for Rock Mart High School Baseball here on WZOT. Brought to you by John Purser Allstate Insurance. Now and then, Antiques, the Nathan Dean Agency, Advanced Rehab, and now the play-by-play action of Robert High School Baseball here on WZOT. All right, we're back at the Rock. The game has started uh, between Robert and Coosa. Andrew Morse is at the plate and uh, doing a good job. Uh, it's 3-1 and one right now. Um, the clean spot and, uh, at 1080. 1080- all got in the mud hole on us. Yes, yeah, sure did. <laughs> but the field is beautiful. It is. Except for these two water puddles right here the ball just found. So that one's gone. But uh, So it's a 3-2 three, count. 3-1 three, three, count. count. Nice. Ball that's four. Ball four. So that's going to be a hey, ball four by Precious Balls. Walk to the base. Walk your four-legged friends down to the grooming spa and hotel. 221 Sports uh, South Marble. Rothmark, Georgia, or give them a call, 770-684-2248, and um, they'll take care of all your pets' needs. All right. Got to keep them little puppies looking good. You do, especially the one you have in your house. That's right. Even though he don't like me. <laughs> he doesn't like strangers. Uh, well, I'm not a stranger. I know. Well, <laughs> well thanks. Now I know. <laughs> all right, throw back to first out of time. Andrew gets back. Batting is um, Sam Sanders. Sam Sanders. Sam Sanders. The North two slot today, playing right field. Morse got a nice lead right there. Ball high. Yeah, he, he may still if he keeps getting way out there. Yeah, yeah. Andrew's been playing well. I saw his stat. Yes, he has. He has been doing very well. Three seventy five or something. That's why he's leading off. That is. There he goes. And he's in there. The pitch was high and slow, so he had plenty of time. Nice job, stolen base by Andrew. So now we got a runner in scoring position, nobody out. Once again, we are visitors on the board tonight, so that's going to mess me up and everything else. But we'll keep saying it. Yeah, we'll keep it straight. But fifth inning, we'll get it right. We're wearing all gray tonight, and Goose is wearing all white. We, we kind of did that the other night. We wore white, and uh, they wore gray. Yeah, white. <laughs> So, 
That was the ball a little bit outside there, Sam. Made the count three and zero. Oh. So they're they're playing up on him a little bit today instead of uh, when they're playing back because they know his speed. speed. I told us to mention, Robert, you know, the field looks like it hadn't even rained, even after the huge rainstorm last night. Believe me, I know all about that huge rainstorm. Uh, I've been yeah. working on fields yeah. all day. But we're playing yeah. tomorrow at the rec department. So. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's nice to have a tarp, isn't it? It is, it is. So the field's just, just like it didn't rain, except for, like Robert said, a couple of mud holes over here on the morning track. Yeah. The field is awesome. Uh, uh, pitch is high. Uh, I'm going to walk Sam first. Ball, ball four. So once again, take your precious ball. Take your four-legged friends. And Danny, take your pet down to the precious ball. They treat them like a king or queen. Oh, I know it. And they think they're the stuff when they leave there, too. So they do a great job at uh, grooming and uh, precious Paul. So go down and see them. 21, 221 South Marble Street. You got a coach come out to visit with the pitcher after two straight walks. Yep. So that's going to be a walk to the Diamonds. Uh-oh. Brought to you by the Rutgers Jewelry. Uh, they have been doing custom design jewelry since 1985. All right. You can contact them at rockmarjeweler.webs.com or go by a 103 West Church Street here in Rockmart. So he's out there talking to him. We're going to take 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Here's a real post from a real Chick-fil-A guest. At Brittany Zillig writes, Have you ever had an egg white grill from Chick-fil-A? If not, you're definitely missing out. Egg whites, cheese, and grilled chicken on a toasty English muffin. Hashtag drooling. Now we're drooling, Brittany. Are you sure you don't work for Chick-fil-A? You pretty much nailed that description. I'll just add, it's the little things like grilled flavor in the morning that jumpstart your day. Share your stories at Chick-fil-A with hashtag the little things. Rob Art High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. Now we're back at the Rock. Dylan Bailey steps up to the plate. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. That ball's a little high. Dylan settles in there to plate. Oh. Foul ball down left field line. He got around on that one a little bit uh, quick, didn't he? A little quick there. All right. He was excited. He was excited. First strike the kid's throwing. I know. In a while. <laughs> What's this? I think I'll swing. He better hit this one. Yeah. yeah. One and one, Dylan's got plenty of, plenty of time to work here. I think there's a coach when he went out and talked to him and said, son, just throw strikes. Uh, he's not listening. Uh, no, that was Cap Bill High there. Yeah. And he's really not throwing that hard, so the guy's going to have to wait. Have to be patient. He's up pretty far in the box, too. Yeah. Still looking at the 2-1 pitch here. All right. <laughs> Dan, I like Dan. He, he wastes a minute. He all strike. He does. So Dylan didn't hear nothing. So he throws the ball. <laughs> so two and two there. That was right there at the letter. So yeah. that was uh, ugly and uh, curveball. And I mean, ugly not as good. I know. It was ugly. Way out there. Make it full count here on Dylan. Let's see if he'll throw on one to hit or if we're gonna go back down the precious balls. Uh, we'll get one of those Culverine exterminating home runs. Wow. We had to wow. tip that back. Well, whether Chris knows it or not, I say it during the game anyway, so he has to pay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's going to cost him something. We'll say it a bunch. Exactly. <laughs> we like Culver. Yeah. Here comes the fish. The runners are gone. Strike three. Oh, ball wow. four on the inside. Wow. wow. Close pitch there. Yep. So that's yeah. going to be a precious ball. Walk your pets down into precious balls. Hey, listen. You Have you taken your pet down there yet? I have not. Okay. If you go down there, they will very, they will take care of it and their pamper that pet like you know. And, and maybe he's not spoiled or Maybe he'll either. stop barking at me like he does. <laughs> maybe that's what I need. I need to take him down there. So, Precious Falls down there on 221 Marvel South Marvel Street, 770-684-2248. All right. Walk your pet right on in there. And with that walk, we'll bring Braden Cole up here to the plate. 
bases loaded. Nobody out. Oh, he might have checked the swing there. Checked the swing there. He did. And uh, that was an ugly pitch because he almost went after. Got to make the count 2-0 and oh here on Braden. I say he's the leading home run guy, too, so he might as well. He is. He is. He's in a good, good hitter's count here. I would say that, but he can't get the ball over the plate. I know, I know. We got to find that's, a strike. Now you're anxious about hitting the ball, but you can't get it over the plate. But hey, a walks, a walks, a, walks a run here, guys. Oh yeah, three and zero. I'm sure he's got the take. And the pitch had to have the take. Let that go by. Yep. We will get a strike right down the middle there. Make it three one. <laughs> he didn't rest. They gave him a hard time because he did give him the green light. He didn't swing. Yeah. So here comes the pitch. That's that's ball way, four. Way out of strike zone. Once again, that's a ball four. Precious ball walk. It's a home plate right now. Andrew Moore scores the first run for the Yellow Jackets. One to nothing. He stole second for nothing. That's right. <laughs> That'll bring us another visit to the coach there. So. Precious Falls, 221 South, Marble Street. Take your four-legged friend down there. Or if they only have three, like Eric Bray on Brownlow's dog, neighbor's dog only has three legs. They only have three legs. They take them, too. Uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't discriminate. Discriminate against anything like that. That would make us a pitching change here, right? Yep, so we're going to walk to the mound and take the ball away and, and put it in another person's hands. That's brought to you by Rucker Jewel. They do custom design. And uh, you know what? They're our local jewelry store. Do a lot of good things down there. They yeah. they clean your jewelry. They they watches. So go down there and see Rutgers, and uh, they're on 103 West Church Street here in Rockmart. They'll be glad to take care of you. So we're going to take uh, 60 seconds, and we'll be right back. Now you can get a great looking cut in less time every time with an X mark. The Mowers Landscape Pros trust two to one over the next best selling brand of mower. The friendly staff at Haney Farm and Ranch is experienced, knowledgeable, and available to advise you on your needs. Telephone 770-684-7277 or visit them at 150 Prospect Road in Rockmart. Exmark, ready to work for you. Hey, baseball fans, Jeff Bailey here with Day's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmart. And just like your favorite baseball player works hard and prepares for the season, we work hard at Day's to make sure we've got the biggest and best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs around. Days has been taking care of its customers since 1959. Located right across from Rockmart High School on Highway 113, or check us out at daysrockmart.com. Remember, today is the day. Rockmart High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock. We're still in the top of the first. Rockmart is visitors. We're leading one to nothing with bases loaded. New pitcher just come in. Who's that, Danny? Number twenty. And to be honest, I don't have any uh, any numbers on the. Ah, no numbers. Didn't put any numbers on his subs on the lineup card. So, so his name's Phil. So yeah, he's gonna be. Phil's gonna be uh, pitching. He's a left. He's a. Oh, he's a right hand. He's a righty. And now you're gonna step up to the plate, big man. I Floyd coming in. Bases loaded, like you said, Robert. Nobody out. Oh, this is a great position to be in. And we get ball one up about high level there. Yep. Such a gorgeous day. Still plenty of time to come out here. This is so much different than last week. Oh, amen. Last that week was so cold and just nasty. Another one behind him there. That was close uh, to his head. That was close to something. To the back part of his head. <laughs> So it makes it 2-0 and oh on tie here, so maybe he can get a good pitch to hit. And the pitch. One about high level there. He's been high. 3-0. Oh. He's going to get the – he's getting the sign. He's telling him to hit. Yeah, he's telling him to hit. Boy, if he gets called strike here, the, the dugout's going to give him back too. Here's the pitch. All four. So – Wow. It's another Precious Falls. Walk your full of your friends right down to Precious Falls, 221 South Marble Street in Rockmark, Georgia. 
If your dog's not clean now, by golly, it should be. As much as we've talked about precious dogs. I was going to say, they, they bought the right slot today, didn't they? Because they, they didn't have any the other day. Zero. Really? Yeah, yeah. Team. Five straight walks today. Yeah. So, who's up now, Danny? Reed Cow. Curveball's going to catch the corner. Strike number one. Reed's DH in the day for John Stubbies. Stubbies is going to play third, but Reed's going to hit. Reed's going to hit for him. Either one of those guys can hit well. Ball hits foul down to Coach Y. E. Coach Let it get in the mud hole. Coach Y. Talk to his wife about that. Man. That's why he's coaching, not playing. He's got soft hands. Makes O2 count here on Reed. Maybe he won't listen to this broadcast later. I don't know. Pitch. Curveball. Got him. Strike three. Ouch. That was a tough pitch. I think this breaks the very end. Just. So they got one out. We've got two on the two on the run. CJ Culver. Smiley's up. Smiley's been hitting the ball well. Yeah. Come pitch. Way outside there. He's got kind of a different uh different form. Pitching on the mound. It's not really sidearm, but it's not. I think it's the way he holds the ball, too. It's almost like he palms the ball as he's throwing. I think he's trying to pull a curveball on every pitch. Yep. We're still in the first. 2 0 here to CJ. It's way out again. That was a change up. It just didn't change. Which why I saying it hit it. Three over here to CJ. There's a strike. Yep. The ball dropped right in over the plate. That was the pitch he got three out with. Make three one here on CJ. Well, he ducked his head too. You don't want to duck your head. Yeah. That wasn't even close. He tried to throw it again and it just went high. Yeah, well, that's gonna be a ball four. Another Precious Falls walk. Precious Falls with your four legged friends. They do trim nails. They shampoo. They even have a hotel. They'll take care of your your, your animal while you're gone. Are you going on vacation? Board them up. 770-684-2248. Bring up Evan Ratcliffe here. Called strike on the inside corner. He's been playing first base tonight. Foul zone back to the screen. Big swing. Everybody gets set back and ready to go again. Here comes the pitch. Way outside again. I, I think that everybody's forgetting how to throw a fastball. I know. Just throw the ball down the middle, hit the corners, whatever you need to do, but get closer than what they're doing. There's one down and away there. There used to be a time, Danny, when you let your defense help you out. Yeah. Catch the ball. Now it seems like everybody wants to try to throw this stuff where uh, we're going to strike you out. Outside again there, Tevin. Tevin, tough kid, kid case looking like that. He, he, is, he has he a is. good eye on strike zone. He's battled back to a 3 2 count here, Robert. And here comes the pitch, the payoff pitch. He hits the ball high in the air. Infield fly. There's two outs. Isn't there two outs? One out. That's number two. The only out was Reed. I thought somebody else struck out. Okay. Oh, you got a strike when he wasn't looking. That's right. So now there's two outs. That was an infield fly. Good call by Blue. That'll, that'll bring up Cooper. Yeah, it's a kick. Our number nine batter. So we'll be starting over again. So bat it around. Cooper, you have to take you go, boy. Hit the ball. That was, that was strike. That's actually a nice pitch right there. That was a good pitch. You may not see another one of those. No. 
Here comes the other one, Pitch to Cooper. Way high. It's set back. Once again, three to nothing. Now it's set back. Rockmore leads in the top of the first inning. Everybody's batted now. Cooper's ever batting. Trying to find the first hit, though. Yeah, got seven walks, Robert. Six walks. And the pitch. And hits the ball. That may be trouble. Oh, and hits the ball right field. Right. He's out. So, like that, we score three in the top of the first. We'll be right back in 60 seconds. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmart, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal Housing Opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home, being the only locally family-owned and operated funeral home in the area, they give wonderful personal attention to you and your family. To find out more about their services, call 770-684-5437 or visit alvismillerfuneralhome.com. Rob Hart High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. Hi, right, we're back at the Rock. Robert Troy and Danny Precise pitching for us today. Braden Cole on the mound today. He looks like he's throwing it pretty good. He typically does. Hello, sir. Yep, that's normal for Braden. Got Dylan behind the plate doing the catching duties today. Oh, Evan Ratcliffe over there at first. Jonathan Suffies, he's playing third. Ty Floyd's a shortstop. That's, he's a second. Cooper Young's a second, second base, isn't it? Yep. Andrew, Andrew Morris is out there in center. Sam Sanders is over in right. C.J. Colbert's out there in left. First batter, not for a short stop. Logan Plates will step in here. Right, just the side. Five uh, that one up. That's over. Almost hit some fans walking back to the car. <clears throat> well, I can tell you, he's already throwing the ball a lot harder. Yeah, than the other pitchers. Oh yeah, and he's bringing it up there. Oh, just poked that one out the right field. Good piece of hitting there by the duck his bat out and look what you get. Put a man on first for nobody else. Once again, Rob Mark's playing two sets. Three oh right now, Rob Mark leads. Gotta bring up second baseman, Dawson Edwards. We can get us a double play here, Robert. That would be nice. Tempted the butt and fouled it back. I'm trying to play some small ball so we can. So we're not going to get no bloody bunch, Robert. Well, <laughs> you never know. He might have to fall down. Yeah, well. But, yeah, there's a lot of buttons to that. A lot of, of, of ifs there. <laughs> but, but Brain started out throwing strikes today, so he's working ahead and count on the batters. Tried to pick him off at first base. Back in time, he didn't have much bleed over there. Danny, you know this weekend we got a game tomorrow here at noon against Cedartown, right? Yep, against Cedartown. We want to try to get back what we lost over there. So he oh. called a ball. Ball. Come back. So. Come back. So he's the ball is called. So, coach is on with an explanation of why. So, yeah, I don't. I would. I really wouldn't. Think I wasn't there. We were talking. <laughs> we were talking about, about this weekend. Yeah. So, but anyway, so at noon we have a game here against Cedartown. Um, also, there's 
the Welch Fest going on downtown in Rockmart. Okay. It's it's our own Welch Fest. Right. Our celebration of being Rockmart. Rockmart. Right. And a lot of men wearing sk- kilts down there. Okay. I will not be one of them. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, But uh, it's an exciting time. There's a bunch of vendors down there. Okay. Some good music going on. Uh, it starts tonight at the old Van Wert Church, I believe. And uh, then tomorrow, all kinds of vendors. There's a pancake breakfast at uh, First United uh, Methodist Church from 8, I think, until noon. So, wow. Go down there and have some good time. Listen, all day. All day. So, all right, we're back and ready to go. Foul back. back. Yep, foul back into the water puddle. I think we're 0 2 here on this batter because with the ball, we were. No pitch there on the bun attempt. Yep. We got a runner down at second now. No, you don't have to bun him over. You just swing him over. But it's 0 2. Let's see if you can throw it past him here. Curveball. Rung him up. Call strike three. Batter didn't know how many outstrikes there were there. Nope. They they explained it to him. Well, I'll bring up Mr. Crow, first baseman. Mr. Derek Tilly. I also know why I'm not going to wear a kilt. Uh-oh. And if anybody should know why I'm not wearing a kilt, he should know. <laughs> so I don't think I have to give that answer. That's right. First pitch here, a little bit low. He's bringing some heat, though. A lot of arm in that in that motion. He's a tall young man and stretches that leg and throws all arm over top. The pitch that might be a try. Yeah, there. Pitch to the kneecaps. Just buckle your knees right no. there. Right throwing it well. I didn't get a hug yesterday. Good to see you. One and one. Oh, ball to dirt gets behind Dylan. Oh, he's going to get get the third. Pass ball there. That's your beautiful young lady. She's such a good girl. Yeah, that's your girl, isn't she? She is. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Danny. I know. I know. We won't tell her mother. Yeah, they're they're almost spring break this week. That's awesome. Two one count. One out. Ball hits strongly the third, throws the first in time. Runner cannot advance. You know, Suffis just looks right at him and then throws the first. So there's two outs. Two outs. That'll bring up the DH. George Gage Clan. Now, that'll probably ask us to watch and look at the. Did he sweep the plate correctly? I think he may have. I think he did too. It was nice. I have to give him a passing area. Nice right? stroke. With uh, the hand moving back and forth. The most important part of the plate is clean. It is clean. That's right. Pitch is a little low. Put your wife burning in there. I think she's setting hot dogs on fire or something. Something. Smells pretty good. Yeah, it is burning. <laughs> Ball in the dirt. Is high deal. And here comes the runner to home. Too high. Make it. Too high of a throw. So... They're going to score a run on that one. Score a run on. I do believe if the throw was lower, we would have had a, we had a shot there. So, kind three to one, Danny. Three to one. Gave him a run there on a ball and two pass balls. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got two strikes on two balls on the batter. Oh, one at a high, cheeser. He said, hit this if you can, and uh, he didn't. He didn't. The two one pitch. A little third base suffice comes up with it. One bouncer. Good throw for out number three. So just like that, we'll be back in sixty seconds to go to inning number two. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. 
Hey folks, RW Laundromat, located on Elm Street here in Rockmart, the cleanest laundromat in northwest Georgia, offers state-of-the-art washers and dryers, TV, and free Wi-Fi while you wait seven days a week, or take advantage of our wash and fold service. We offer extra-large washers for the big loads. Churches, businesses, and ball teams are always welcome. That's RW Laundromat here in beautiful Rockmart, Georgia, and go Jack! You're listening to Rockmart High School Baseball here on WZOT, brought to you by John Purser Allstate. Now and then, Antiques. The Nathan Dean Agency. Advanced Rehab. And now back to the action of Rockmart High School Baseball. Okay, we're back in the Rock, going into the top of the second inning. Rockmart leads 3-1. to one. And uh, Danny, we're talking about the field conditions. They are very, very good right now, except for right back here. Yeah, it feels perfect, Jay. So, they really did a good job with the field here. I mean, oh, yeah. You go around to other places and you notice. When you have winning programs, too, it's because of stuff like this. Oh, yeah. They're going to take care of your, your kids. Your kids are going to give back. That's it's, right. It's just uh, it's a great thing here. It's starting to get a little chilly, I think. It, it is. I think it's going to get a little chilly tonight when the sun goes down. I don't think so. Bring up Andrew Morris here. Takes another ball. I don't think he's called a strike today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not yet, anyway, right? No. Okay. No strikes. One went all the way to the screen back here with us. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Hey, ball hit hard. The shortstop. He bottles it. And me. Gets him by a half a step. Wow. I thought that bobble might cost him, but he made a good throw. Yeah, he regained himself pretty quick. Andrew's pretty quick, too, so. That'll bring up Sam Sanders, who walked in the first inning. How about the weather last night? Yeah, nowhere. I, I know, I know. I'll, Here's the pitch. Dribble hit hard to center field. I think that's going to be down. It's going to get down, so that single was brought to you by Berkeley Mays Boutique, downtown Rockmark. you got the, your source for Rockmark clothing for the youth, uh, 107 East Elm Street. You can go see them Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday from 9 to 4, and some Saturdays from 9 to 4. All right. That hit that'll bring Dylan Bailey up with one out. Throw to first. Sam gets back in there just under the tag. Pitch comes set. Wow, straight back. Maybe it won't land on us. Hold on. Last time I got in trouble for what I said. Uh oh. Not really, but. You know, you never know if you hit with a baseball what comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I signed a waiver saying I can't hold my tongue on that one. Yeah. Here's the pitch. Strike. Strike two. Makes it 0 and 2 here on Dylan. He's, he's getting a high stroke. Strike. So, uh, don't worry about fouling that one off. Pops oh, that straight up in the air to first base. Make the catch there. Out number two. And it's going a little quicker than the last one, isn't it? I think Braden Cole up to bat. Braden, Braden walked his first time up. Time to help himself here. He could. Throw to first, gets away. And there goes Sam. He's going to yeah, he's gonna go three. He is. Sam showing his speed there. Speedy Gonzalez he's takes off. all the way to third. See? You go, Sam. Nice job. Yeah. Rob Buddha was playing out there at the parking lot somewhere. And <laughs> the ball got by. He just wasn't able to ground the corral it up. It's a curveball that stayed in. Yep. yep. Good out of there by Brady. Man, he really can't help himself, Robert. He gets the hit. 
Oh, yeah. He's going to score sound for sure now. Swung on a miss. Nice swing, but... I think Braden was going to swing at that no matter what, Robert. I think that, so. That pitch wasn't even close. They kind of gave him a hard time last time. Yeah. He didn't swing. That's another strike. Make it one, two here on Braden. Oh, hit hard. Right down the line there. Definitely going to score one. He's going to try to get two. He's going to make it. And standing up. Standing up. That's a double. Double by Braden Cole. So, nice swing of the bat. He waited on that curveball and hit it just perfectly. He did. Hit it right down the line over there. So, helped himself driving in a run there. Right. And he got himself in a scoring position, Robert. Courtesy runner for the pitcher. I guess they're trying to figure out who that's going to be. He's already out there. Who's number six? Number six is, oh, McDuffie. McDuffie. I should have known the size difference out there. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a small one there, Danny. Yeah. McDuffie's about a foot shorter than Braden, I think. Ty uh, take the big hack there. He did take a big hack. Missed that one. That's all right. And here comes the pitch. Ball hit hard, but it's up in the air to right center. No one can get it down. Did he catch it or drop it? He dropped it. No, he dropped it. He fell out there. So it's going to be a – I don't know if it's a double or if it's air, but – we're going to call it double just because it's our guy. It's our guy. We scored the run, too. That's right. Five to one now for Rob Mark. Make Duffy on his horse all the way from second base there. He was scoring all the way because yeah. oh, two yeah. outs, you got to run. I think he scored before the ball hit the ground out there. <laughs> Reed takes that curveball high. Maybe Reed can make up for that strikeout with a big hit here. There you go. Come set. And the pitch. Ball hit hard. There's a base hit. That's going to be another double, maybe. But he's going for it. He's in there. That's a double. You're right. It's not a single. That's a double. That's a double, Dan. All the way. Wow. I'm going to start selling doubles. No. Mark. Mark. Come on, Mark. He should have sold doubles and triples Mark. and everything. Mark Garrett's a good man, you know. He is. But he wasn't thinking doubles today. I don't know. He was thinking home run. He was thinking 70-degree weather. We're going to hit home runs today. Well, I do think that Chris Culver yeah. got got away with just home runs. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. I hope we hit 100 this year. I do, too. So, CJ. CJ comes in here. Smiley's up. Looks at a strike there on the outside corner. I was wondering why Chris was all the way up against the fence, but now I know. Taking some pictures. Did video you, or something. Did you, take video of your own child. Take video of everybody. Share the well. Stayed up a little bit there. That was close. It's ball. One. Two outs, one ball, one strike. Six to one, Rockhart. Yeah, I thought they actually scored three runs with one out, with two outs. Here's the pitch. Wow, oh, off the catcher. Got him on the shin guard, so it didn't hurt him too much. Thank goodness. Yeah. Been hit this year yet? I have. Ouch, where at? Got one last night on the thigh. Oh, yeah. There ain't no padding there. No, just some natural. Punch the hurts today, the other day. Left the mark. <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, one of the vendors was at a at an umpire clinic, uh-huh. and they make these tots now that have pads on the inside of your thigh. Yeah, I was like, why do you need that job? <laughs> and then I, <laughs> now you know. Now I know because I took I took a nasty one last night. I'm like, oh gosh. Bitch, bitch, stayed up. So 
now that we're blessed with you umpiring, yeah. So when you join us, you can tell us you make the call. Uh huh. Like okay. they do in the NFL and everything okay. else. Yeah. I can be like the guy on the, the the TV. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember his name. You can tell us what's going on. Ball hits uh, up short, to the middle. Short stop. Comes up throwing. He comes up scooping, but it tossed the toes off the bag. That's just me. That's going to be out number three. We'll be right back going to the bottom of the second. We're leading six to one. WZOT Rockmart, W270CE Rome. Rockmart Rent to Own invites you to come by and see our brand new showroom. We have added lots of square footage and filled it up with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, and Simmons with new merchandise arriving every day. Be sure to come by and see Scooter and the whole crew. Mattress specials every week. And of course, we also have appliance deals for every need. We also have the best propane prices in Polk County. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Closed on Wednesday. Open Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Close on Sunday. Call 770-684-5314. Located at 966 Searton Highway, Rock Mart. Rock Mart High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock going to the bottom of the second. Rock Mart leads 6-1. And Braden Cole still on the mound. He's throwing hard. He is throwing hard. That's a better ending for us there, Robert. We got to hit the ball. Yep. Got a couple of scouts over here looking at these young men. Probably Mr. Cole there since they got the radar guns out. Strike right down the middle. That was a nice hit. That's how you impress a scout right there. That one on a miss. That's old Fred up the bat. Pitcher that came in. He struck him out. Three pitches. Swung at that one. Well, he got through that one low and he went after it. Bring up the third baseman, Jackson Thomas. Right. Good call, Danny. Good call. Yeah, make the call, Danny. Right. That's easy. Right, and really throwing the ball today. Ooh, swung on and missed. Yeah, that's a, that's you're going to hit that one when it hits the plate. Yeah, that one. Bottom fell out of that one, didn't it? Kind of like last night with the rain. <laughs> bottom fell out. In the dirt. Good stop by Dylan Bailey. Nobody's on, though, but still, great stop. You should always do the same thing every time, no matter what. Dylan makes that look easy, and it's not. So, comes the one, two. Hello. Hello. Here we go, Braden. Throw it in there. Oh, I hit him on the arm. Ouch. Ouch. That may require some ice. <laughs> that just hurt a little bit. It hurt a crunch. So we'll put a man on first with one out here. In the bottom of the second end. Bring up Coos's catcher. So it was the first, nice tree off throw, but it gets back in time. Mr. Hal Floyd is in the house. He got here early today. It's a little low. We shouldn't have jinxed him talking about throwing strikes there. Little batter. That's all right. He'll find it here in just a second. Throw over to first. You don't get those white jerseys dirty. His is sufficiently dirty now. Sure is. <laughs> sure is. Two close plays over there at first base. 
another one that's a little bit low. We're gonna have a have a walk to the to the diamond. Brought to you by Rutgers Jewelers. Uh, they got the rhythm of love diamond. They also have custom design jewelry, and they do repairs since 1985. Contact them at rockmartjeweler.webs.com or go down to 103 West Church Street, Rockmart, Georgia. They'll be down there at the Welch Fest. It's right around by the building there. And I was going to say, they're right in the middle of the Welch Fest. They are. They are. And uh, just a great, uh, cheap entertainment for the family. All right. Everything's so expensive nowadays, but take your family, walk around down there, get a good little right before nap time. Yeah. <laughs> good nap time. Yeah. Right now, have a new ball. That was the whole problem. This the baseball. It was the baseball. We got a 2-0 count here. Runner on first, one out. And the pitch. Oh, oh, throw down by Dylan. Close. He keeps messing around that. He's going to get picked off. He is. The three old pitch from Braden. A little bit low there. That puts it in for an infield fly situation. Just one out. First and second. Don't have a courtesy runner here for the catcher. Take a second to get, get all that sorted out. You've got to write all that stuff down. And so, oh, with Jagger leading 6 1 in the bottom of the second. Men on first and second with one out. Brings up Timmy. I can't pronounce his last name. He's the right fielder. There's a strike from Mr. Cole. We need to do a strike. That was it right then. We needed a strike. We needed a strike there. The ball. Skipped that one off the plate there. Dylan scooped it up for him. Maybe you heard us talking about the scouts with the radar guns or something. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, Plus him back to second there. Everybody resets for the pitch. Threw it right by him. Oh, nice throw to turn base. You know who's there. Side pole gets behind him. Gets it. It's a good throw. Good throw by Dylan. Well, he's ahead of the count right now, though, one one and two. He could really help himself here, Robert, with the strikeout. Just like he did with the bat earlier. Yep. There it is. Foul. Get the left field side. Oh, we're about, to, we're about to take it, lady. We'll reset here. One ball and two strikes. And yes, he did. Yeah, struck him out. Couldn't hold it. Jack Spring, he's, he's going back to the dugout. Going back. The ball got away a little bit there, and the, the runners advanced. Second yep. and third. But there's two outs now, so. They make three right now. This is number nine hitter here. Just off the corner. Ball one. Pitch. There's strike one. <laughs> nice pitch. Well, 
right at him. Braden? Oh, change up. He swings at it. Strike two. The ball just stopped at the plate and went down. It did. He just swung right over it. One and two right here. He got him again. Strike three. So that strikeout was brought to you by uh, Clay Birch Boutique. It's nice to see them here again. I went down and saw her the other day and got my wife some nice shoes, some yellow box shoes, and my wife loves it for me. She says I like walking on air. So go down and see the Clay Birch Boutique down at the uh, 1075 Nathan Dean Trial Shopping Square around the side uh, over there behind All-Star Motors. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, the funeral home that has been providing a strong arm for our friends and neighbors to lean on for the past 76 years. We are proud of the young folks of our community and wish for them success on the field and off. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, Rock March very own. Now you can get a great looking cut in less time every time with an X mark. The Mowers Landscape Pros trust two to one over the next best-selling brand of mower. The friendly staff at Haney Farm and Ranch is experienced, knowledgeable, and available to advise you on your needs. Telephone 770-684-7277 or visit them at 150 Prospect Road in Rockmart. Xmart, ready to work for you. Rockmart High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. Hi, right, Danny, we're back. We're back. Trying to get some chips here cause, uh, or some peanuts, you know, whatever they got in there, because uh, they were in a ball game, so you got to have something. got to eat something. But, uh, so we're going to the top of the third. It's 6 1 Robar leads. Um, kind of a slow, kind of a yeah. slow game right now. Um, need to see some action. Yeah, we had a little action last time we were hitting the ball. They don't have crackers, man. Get in this crack. All good. We're good. Thank you, though. Um, bring Evan Ratcliffe up here. Maybe he'll get us started with some hits. Yeah, let's uh, get it up in the air because uh, the sun's shining bright. Yeah, wind's blowing out a little bit. Yeah, that's actually the way he needs to go. Yeah. Here comes the pitch to him. Curveball called strike. How are you? Miss, Miss Bailey, she's in the house. So here comes the second pitch. Ball strike at the knees outside corner. 0-2 oh, already. Curveball kid out there on the mound for Kusa. Dang. There he comes set. Here comes the pitch. That's high. Didn't come back. But he wasn't going to throw him a catch your toes up in the sun there. That's what I'm saying. That sun's something else. It is. You know, I'm thinking Kusa's first pitcher. Sun was blinding him. Might have worked for Precious Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not trying sure. Trying to get some business there. I'm not sure. And I'm not saying nothing negative. He just wasn't on today. Yeah. One of those things, but. Some he does work for precious balls. We know there's something going on. That's right. There we are, two and two now to Evan. And the pitch. Just off the corner. That there. was too close not to swing out. I'll I know. tell you that right now. He steps back up. Full count here. Foul ball. That's a curve ball he fouled off. Fouled it off the catcher there. Is that Chris Culver that guaranteed him if he was heading there? He hit it? He probably did. Let's see if he keeps the head in there. Maybe he'll hit it over the fence. We can... Yeah. Swung on a miss, but he's going to run because it hits the dirt. And he's going to be out at first. Bring up Mr. Yonzitich. Yonzitich. 
second time at bat today. Hit a long fly ball to the right field earlier. And here's the pitch to him. Ball hit up in the air to shortstop area. And he makes the catch out there. The, the, the shade just came in. Just in just time. In ta- what is behind me? I have not seen that man. How are you doing? Our, assist, our principal over here at the middle school, oh. Mr. Loveless. Good to see him. Beer still looking good. And here comes the pitch to Andrew Morris. We got two outs on us. We're at the top of the third, six to one. Rockmar leads. That was ball one. Five that back. One ball, one strike. Now to Andrew. Pitch is going to step off. Pitch. Ball hit hard to right field. He's going back. And he does make the catch. That's going to be three outs and uh, score six to one. We're going to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. Here's a real post from a real Chick fil A guest. At our Foodie Ventures writes, Quick lunch today. A Chick-fil-A grilled chicken club sandwich. Never disappoints. Chicken emoji licking lips emoji. Thanks, our Foodie Ventures. Glad Chick-fil-A could be part of your ventures. It's the little things that make our grilled chicken club sandwich worth the trip. Like the backyard grilled flavor in every bite. Also, did we mention it has bacon? Insert bacon emoji. Share your stories at Chick-fil-A with hashtag the little things. Your personal information is very important, and when compromised, can lead to big security issues. Don't trust your information with a here today, gone tomorrow company. Call somebody with reliability and stability in this community. Barnes Tax Service, 770-684-7556. Robert High School Baseball, on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. Here we are back at the Rock. Robert Troll line, Danny Prasad. Just to go to the bottom of the third inning. Yellow Jackets leading this one 6-1. to one. Braden Cole still on the mound, throwing the ball well today. Dan Merkin had to get some water because he's actually he's just working his head. Man, he's working hard. That's the umpire. We finally get to sweat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so... Anyway, we're going to the bottom of the third. Once again, we are visitors at our own place. And uh, six to one, Rockmart leads. Now batting for Kusa. Kusa, yes, sir. Be the leadoff man, Logan Pledger. All right. He got to hit his last time up. Stuck his bat out there and kind of, that's right, poked his right field. Poked his right field. Those are strikes on the inside corner right at the knees. Good pitch there by Braden. It must have March Madness. A lot of basketball going on right now. It is. Foul. That one We're over there to the coach. Oh, and two here. Oh, a little grounder. A second. 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 Got to hurry. And he does get him in time. Nice job by Cooper charging that ball because if he didn't, he would have been safe. Scooped it right up. Good throw to first. So one out. One out. Bring up the second baseman. Dawson Edwards. Ready to strike him out back in the first inning. Just a little bit low. Low. A good place to miss, though, Robert. You know? Yeah, I mean, you can't really do nothing with that. Yeah. There's a strike. That's a strike for sure. Right down the middle. It's one and one. All right. It's that one off the plate, but it's foul territory. That was almost like a, that was a golf shot. shot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, that was ugly. It like a 
cricket match there, didn't it? Kind of, yeah. So that's exactly what it looked like. Kind of blocked it into the plate there. So it's one, two. Here's the pitch. Curveball is going to be outside. That was a nasty pitch, too. <laughs> nasty in a good way. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. Probably the end point. Oh, well, <laughs> that one. It sure did. <laughs> That's going to be a Clay Burst Boutique strikeout. Perfect per- pitch selection. Also down there, Clay Burst Boutique. Then I was talking, I was talking, I went in the other day and talked to Tracy. A nice lady. A um, bunch of great stuff coming in every day. Uh, but they are marking down their, their uh, fall and winter items right now. Oh, okay. And so you need to get in there and see what they have left. And some all the new stuff they got coming in. I mean, here's the bad thing. I wrote the list. I left it in my other truck. So tomorrow uh, you'll, you'll hear more about it. <laughs> but go see him down there, Nathan yeah. Dean. Uh, 1075 Nathan Dean, Triangle Square. Curveball. Very territory down third base. Suffolk comes up with it. Makes a good throw. But he pulls good him ball. off the bag. So not a time to tag. Just... It was a heck of a throw. That was a tough play there. But just have to, he had to get rid of it quick. A little dribbler down the line. I don't know what happened there, why he had to pull his other foot off. The, maybe he was on the inside or something, but uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. something happened. So now two outs. we got a runner at first. Brings up the DH here. The pitch in the dirt, blocked by... Bailey, nice block. Good block. Tough fish to block. That thing hit three feet in front of the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Now Mr. Dan Marcus has to sweep the plate. Yeah, I think he's doing that for Dylan's behalf. Well, you would think as an umpire, if you do that as much, you want to take one of those electric <laughs> or a power battery yeah, operated uh, uh, like you. Yeah. Another pitch down. It looked kind of fun in your back pocket. It would be hard to carry out there. Yeah, it would be. And the pitch in the dirt. Hell, a nice job blocking that one. That was tough. That was, yes, it was. Well, three balls, no strikes. Got to put this one in. Find a strike. I don't think she can hit it if they just throw it in. Throw over to first there. Runner about back in time. Give him a chance to get his pants dirty. Yeah. yeah. White uniform. Sure did. Sure did. Another one in the dirt. That's going to be ball four. It's going to walk him down to first. That's one thing when you have scouts watching you. It makes you nervous. You know it? it makes you nervous. Yeah. Every time the scout comes and watches and listens to me, I, I get it. Nerf, little giddy. But they always come up to me and say, don't worry about it, son. <laughs> you're good where you're at. So we wouldn't want to take you from that the right spot. spot. Yeah, yeah, you're in the right spot. So it makes you feel good. I know that's what they intend to say. Yeah. All right, so Braden Cole comes set again. He's ready to go. Runners on first and second with two outs. Still rough to bottom of the third. Nice pitch. Yeah. Long off, foul back off Dylan's mask. Took that one right into Griel. So, how many fingers do you have up? He, he's smiling, so he's okay. How many fingers you got up? I don't know. How many you holding up? I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's a senior this year, so his head can't be any harder. So he's in a, he's definitely got a hard head. He's fine. Yeah. Oh, one count. Here comes the pitch. Curveball. Curveball. Just missed. Who might have gone after him where he missed? Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Blue. What's <laughs> wrong, Bob? You need to give us a signal here. Here's the pitch a little low. Oh, Brady. Back up on the mound. Yeah. Ball hits a shortstop. Tie back, hands it, throws it to first. Not in time. I thought he was going to third with that at first. I 
think that might have been the better play there, Robert. He caught it going that way. Yeah, he, he was that was a long throw where he was going no matter what. He was way deep over there. He didn't have time to turn the set. So that'll load the bases here. Third baseman, Jackson Thomas. Foul back to the screen. Oh, man, we're going to lose her. Uh, no more advertisements. No more advertisements. Thanks, sir. That picked up paperwork was by Mr. Lovitz, middle school. Here to help whatever, no matter if you're a student or if you're a radio guy, he'll help you. Ball hit the shortstop. Right, that's be Boy comes up, throws him out at first base. So, for round number three. So, going to the top of the fourth, Rob Marr leads 6-1. to one. We'll be right back. Hey, baseball fans. Jeff Bailey here with Dave's pre-owned Supercenter in Rockmark. And just like your favorite baseball player works hard and prepares for the season, we work hard at Days to make sure we've got the biggest and best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs around. Days has been taking care of its customers since 1959. Located right across from Rockmart High School on Highway 113, or check us out at DaysRockmart.com. Remember, today is the day. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. (laughs) Okay, what? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like, for real? Like, if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah, of course it works. I saw it on the internet. Contact Mary Miller at 1340 Chattahoochee Drive in Rockmart. Call 770-684-9193. Go see them on the web at www.marymillerinsurance.com. Robert High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock. Robert Troy and Danny Precise going to the top of the fourth. Robert leads 6-1. to one. Um, They had bases loaded. We stranded them there, thank goodness. Yep. Um, and now Baton versus Sam Sanders will be coming up here. Top of the line up here. Yeah. So. Good for the Jackets. They're trying to go 4 0 in the region. Like you said, we'll be back here again tomorrow at noon. It's Cedar Town. It's, it's going to be cold tomorrow. It is. It's supposed to get colder all night. It's supposed to be 30 in the morning. I want to know where that groundhog is. I know, man. That we groundhog was wrong. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> need to jack him up. Well, we need to talk to him a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, as long as the rain stays away, though. <laughs> please, please, the rain stay away. <laughs> Well, you can put on a jacket, but it's hard, hard to play baseball and put an umbrella in one hand. Yeah. Last night we were doing pictures for a girls' softball uh, uh-huh. recreation, and I had to move everybody downstairs to the gym because of the tornado warning. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's a haunted house waiting to happen down there. Oh, I bet. So, that's, uh, that, like you said, that happened quick last night. Yeah, that real probably. quick. So here's Sam digging in. Yeah, here's the pitch. That ball's not even close to the strike zone. Ball one. He gets set back for the pitch. And here it is. That's much better. Hit hard. Right. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Foul on third base side. Man, that was... I mean, I'm looking out there and I see chalk gone. Or paint gone. But that must be from somebody's foot. Somebody's foot there. Wow. Width of the baseball. Fan. I think we need to see instant replay on that blue, but uh, yeah. let's go, let's go to the video, Mark. Yeah, go to the video. But uh, now nah, it was close. <laughs> that was that was foul. Pretty neat right yeah. there. And here comes the pitch. Curveball swung on and missed. Two strikes here on Sam. Sam would have been running for days on that. That's what I was going to say. That was big trouble if that would have been fair. Speaking of big trouble, I know. Swung on and missed, and he could have ran because the ball did hit the dirt. So, but uh, but he didn't. So one out. Dylan Bailey. Let me go ahead and get this home run sheet out. Get the home run sheet out. Let me go ahead. Let me get this out real quick. So I'm ready. I'm ready to go, Danny. I'm ready, right here, Danny. It's going to start out. That's a pulver. That's right. Here he goes. Call strike on a curveball. It's not the one he wanted. 
That's not a culvert. That's right. right. That's, that's the curveball you don't want. That's right. He didn't want that one. We may have to hit the curveball because this guy's about all he throws. Wow. That one's a little high. Yeah. Foot over Dylan's head there. One ball, one strike. Sun's back out. Sun's out. Oh, it's nasty now. He is. Fouls out with straight back to the screen. Not the one he wanted, but he tried anyway. Hard left swing at that one. That was much slower than the first two. Yep. Dan White's off the plate. One ball and two strikes. Ball hit hard. Hit the right, so that's going to be... Going back, it's going to be... At least two. Yep. It gets almost all the way to the fence, and he's going to be a stand-up double for Dylan Bailey. That's right. Man, it's double night here at the park. Everybody gets a double. You get a double. You get a double, and you get a double. We gave away safes the other night. Oh, safes. Okay. Safe, safe, safe. Now it's double, double, double. double. So tonight when you go, never mind, you're going to order a double. Double cheeseburger. There you go. Double cheeseburger. That's what I was going to say right there, Danny. I know. Double cheeseburger. I'm on a diet. They won't let me have a double cheeseburger. Oh, okay. I can think about it, though. Yes, you can. Ball hit hard. Great. Up in the air. That it's be going back. It's going back. It's going back. That's paper. a Colbert Sermonetti Company home run. Culver Exterminated Company, 231 South of Marble Street. Give them a call, 770-684-7686. Brain Cole just killed a bunch of bugs right there. He did. I mean, nice shot. He may have literally killed some bugs. He got down all the way to the He did. He killed a bunch of mosquitoes out there in that water. But uh, nice shot by Braden Cole. He was sitting there waiting on that one, and he got it. I mean, I don't know who I'm happier for. Clover has to pay? Yeah. Or Bra- I'm, uh, Braden. Braden, Braden hold on. Yeah. I'm happy. That's a two-run shot. That's the eight to one right now. That's top of the fourth. <clears throat> That'll bring up Ty Floyd with one out. The curveball is going to be called strike on the inside corner. Tough pitch to hit there. Let's make Clover spend some more money, Ty. Come on, Ty. Do another one. Need to hang that one over just a little bit. Swung on and missed. That curveball is outside. It looked the same, so he went after it. 0-2 on tie. And the pitch. Curveball, strike three called. There's two outs. Well, that'll bring up Reed. He can certainly lose one, too. He can. He can. But back to you, Braden Cole. Yeah. That's definitely helping yourself there, too, when you're oh, pitching. absolutely. I mean, if you're going to pitch, you might as well hit home run, too. Right. Hit home run. So. Well, he had a double last inning. Got yeah. Himself out. Yeah. Hey there, Coach. Good to see you. Sporting that goatee. Swung on a miss there. Swung right through that one. And the pitch. A lot of curveballs. Foul straight back behind us. He was on that one. He just missed it. Yep. I don't think he threw Braden the curveball. curveball. And he, he just left it up and, and it just he made him pay. It might have been supposed to have been a curveball, Robert. It just didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It just kind of stayed there. And we'll see Casey here. I don't know if she got to see that home run or not. Ooh, that was stayed up there. Not even close. There was no check swing there. Yeah. It wasn't even, wasn't even in the same league. Yeah. So. And here comes the pitch. Curveball. Fouled off behind us here again. Cover your heads. There's a bunch of birds above you. Yep. Is that a ball that hits you or something else? Something I don't know. Else. I don't yeah. know. <clears throat> One and two here. And pitch swung on. Foul territory down third baseline. The umpire makes play out there. He does. He does. That don't usually happen. No, it's not if I'm out there. <laughs> I ain't reaching out and grabbing one of those. Just go right ahead and let it go by. It can be 
rolling. Good, good exercise for the players to run yeah. it down. Yeah. Reed's putting the bat on. He's got to get one between the lines here. One, two count. Two outs. Here's the pitch to Reed Couch. That's high. Two, two. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. So we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth. Rockmar leads eight to one. We'll be right back in 60 seconds. Are you worried that you may have termites in your home? Call us today and put your mind at ease. We offer liquid treatments as well as termite baiting systems. Are other pests your problem? Let them become our problem. Call us to service all of your pest control needs. At Culver Exterminating Company, we will protect your home, family, and future against termites as well as other pests and rodents. Guaranteed on time and friendly service. We offer a 10% discount to senior citizens. Call us today at 770-684-7686. Culver Exterminating Company, where honesty counts. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmart, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal Housing Opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Rob Art High School Baseball, on WZOT 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock, going to the bottom of the fourth. Rock Marley's 8 to 1. And Danny, we got a new pitcher. We do. Mr. Griffin Pace, state champion, state wrestler. champion wrestler. Let's see if he can get. Somebody in one of those full melts is out here. Yeah. So, won over 200 matches in his career. Pretty impressive. You know, I never won one match. Ah. If you don't wrestle, you can't win. That's right. But I didn't lose one either. Didn't lose. He's undefeated. I was undefeated. I beat myself a couple times, but <laughs> other than that, but. Big, big accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, that is huge. I mean, uh, great job by Griffin. You know, like, so we talked, you know, about him. In the last couple of years, he would always go down at weight class and starve himself. And, yeah. you know, that's tough on anybody. But uh, this year he didn't do that. He didn't do that. It worked out. All right, so here comes the first pitch by lefty Griffin base. That has got to be... The daddy spot on the wall right there. Whoever's pitching. <laughs> uh, every time someone's yeah, every pitching, time. the daddy goes there. That's okay. That's right. Need to need to paint it on the sidewalk. I think that's what it is. Daddy wall. Yeah. Nice pitch. Just a little bit. Just, it was a little bit. It's a beautiful pitch. Great location. Make it two and zero oh here. Griffin's throwing the ball well. He is humming it. Down third base side. That's going to be foul. Wow. Just barely. <laughs> that was really barely. Well, so hit a lump of glass and took off left. I know. Something happened there. I thought Estefas was going to field it and the ball just went away from him. It went like eight feet foul. That was crazy. Yep. So here comes lefty Griffin Pace. Steps back in there, so is the bat. And here comes the pitch. A little low. Makes it 3 1 here. Just rare by right, can throw this past him. And the pitch. Hits the ball hard to right center. They're going back, they're going back. It's oh, Sam cuts it off. And going to throw it in. It's going to be a stand-up double. Just hit the ball where we were not. Yeah. Hmm. 
We got a. Yeah, adjustment. Yeah, change a few things there. Yeah. Uh, runner in second base now for Kusa. Got it. Yeah. Timmy showing butt. He sure is. Pulls back the swing. And he yeah. check swing. Should be called a strike. And it was. It was. All right. Starting off better here. You got a strike on the back to start with. A little high. One ball, one strike. Trying to bait him in with a fake bunt there. Just missed. It, yeah, that was a nice pitch right there. That was close. 2-1 here to the batter. Griffin comes set. Yep. Swung again. It's going to be two strikes now. <clears throat> two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here. I don't understand the batter's approach here, but Ball in the dirt. Just a little low. Good, good location, but. Uh... Now we've got a full count. Mm -hmm. Full count here. Showing fun. We know that ain't happening. Strike three. Right the knees and just good. caught him looking. Good pitch. He's so worried about swearing for that punt. Strike three. So that's a strikeout by Clay Birch Boutique. Strikeout. Uh, down at the 1075 Nathan Dean in Triangle Square, right around the corner behind All Star Motors. All kinds of stuff in there. It's new stuff coming in daily. Go down and see Tracy. Good Ball. block there by Dylan. And what I liked there was he didn't you know, catch the ball. He just blocked it up and blocked it and kept the ball front and then went and got it. And then runner couldn't have 1 0 here. Griffin can find us a strike. Yep. Strike on the outside corner. Good pitch. Great location yeah, right was, there. Man, that one ball, one strike here. And the pitch. It's at the right field. But Cooper's going back. He can't make the catch. They had him turning around every which way. And Actually tried to make it with his, his bare hand. So that's going to be a base hit. But the runner couldn't advance from second because he wasn't sure. Right. So first and second here, one out. I would say we'll turn a triple play, but double's fine because we already got one out. Double play would be good here. Yeah, be real good. Brings up the leadoff man, though. He grounded out the second last time. Ball's in the dirt, but nice stop with Bailey. Not holding the runner. No, not getting much of a lead either. A little bit low there. Griffin's all around the plate. He's just, just missing here. Too low. And the pitch. He went up from low to high. Yeah, that was, that was a little bit up there. 3-0 here on the leadoff, man. You're not even looking at me? Just going right by. There's a the strike at the knees. It's a 3-1 count. Yeah. Yeah. The pitch. Ball four. Just a little bit low there. Going to load the bases. Load the bases and one out. Time's going to be called. He's going to walk to the diamond. Coach is going to go out there and talk to him for a minute and just say, okay, you're trying to overthrow. Just settle down. But that's brought to you by Rucker Jewelers. <coughs> Excuse me, Jewelry down there at uh, 
103 West Church Street, Rockmark. Give them a call, 770-684-4444. For all your jewelry needs, you need a watch, they got it. All right. You need a ring, they got it. You need, uh, they got it. They got it. So, uh, go yeah, down to see Rocky. get you some bling. That's right. So, now they're done talking on the mound, so we'll be starting here in just a second. Base is loaded here. One out. So, double play still being ordered here. The sun still is out bright in your face. And for us, we're kind of in the shade now, Robert. We are in the shade. It's starting to cool off. I think that a lot of people like to keep us in the shade. Yeah. <clears throat> Base is loaded, one out. And the pitch. To the outside. Just missed. I'm going to call this a double play up the middle, sir. It would be nice. It would be very nice. And the pitch fouls a straight, straight back, back to the screen. Here he comes set. Here we go. 1-1 one, one count. Ball hit hard. Oh! oh. And it is a double play. Good job, Robert. Nothing catches it in the air, third base, and tags third base for a double play. You heard it right here on WZOT. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Now you can get a great-looking cut in less time every time with an X mark. The Mowers Landscape Pros trust two to one over the next best-selling brand of mower. The friendly staff at Haney Farm and Ranch is experienced, knowledgeable, and available to advise you on your needs. Telephone 770-684-7277 or visit them at 150 Prospect Road in Rockmart. Exmark, ready to work for you. Here's a real post from a real Chick-fil-A guest. At Brittany Zillig writes, Have you ever had an egg white grill from Chick-fil-A? If not, you're definitely missing out. Egg whites, cheese, and grilled chicken on a toasty English muffin. Hashtag drooling. Now we're drooling, Brittany. Are you sure you don't work for Chick-fil-A? You pretty much nailed that description. I'll just add, it's the little things like grilled flavor in the morning that jumpstart your day. Share your stories at Chick-fil-A with hashtag the little things. Rob Art High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. All right, we're back in the rock, ladies and gentlemen. Score is 8-1, to one, Rob Mart leads. We're going to the top of the fifth because we are visitors at our own place. That's right. And um, so far, so good. Uh, Braden Cole hitting that uh, home run. Brought to you by Culver. It's terminated. That was good. That was good. Um, poor old Chris is, is down there right now trying to get his checkbook to make sure he has enough money to pay. But I'm sure he does because he's loaded. Yeah. Um, I have to go spray some houses in the morning. Yeah, I'll do something like that. Yeah. He'll probably go spray mine and get money from me now. <laughs> but... Uh, that's understandable. So now we're getting ready to get started on the top of the fifth. We got a new pitcher for Acusa. Uh He was the third baseman previously. So, Jackson Thomas. All right. He looks like he throws a little more heat. So, you know, this is what happened the other day. They came in with slow pitchers. He's to a young man that could throw, and we hit them hard. Hit them hard. So let's hope we can do it again. We're going to start off with Smiley, C.J. Culver. Oh, Smiley can get another hit. So. Pitcher taking a couple extra warm-ups. He is, he is. But, uh, let's see, Danny. We got anything else going on? Do you have any other paper right there? We got we got here? Well, we got the game tomorrow at 12 o'clock. And next week, they have three games. Tuesday, going up to Chattooga. Five at play there at their place. That's huge. And then turn around on Friday and play them here at 5.30. Yep, we always play the same week. So, if you can go up there and support them on Tuesday at 5.30, that would be much needed. Uh, and then we have another Saturday game uh, against Cass here at 10 in the morning. 
Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Not tomorrow. They like next. taking my Saturdays away. Oh, they're they're killing you, aren't they? Have to get up early. It's 10 o'clock, gang. They don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, here's the pitch. Pitch, there. They're going to try to take away swap shop hour. We can't have that. Oh, man. I'm going to have to talk to them about that. We'll have to reschedule Brian, that game. We can't do that, can we? Reschedule that game to about two. Swap a, swap a out for a single. Yeah. Ball two, down and away. Well, I'm definitely starting just like the other guys did. <laughs> but uh, this young man can throw. If he'll throw one up there, CJ can hit it. That was closer. But that's going to be outside. Three, you know. You know it's better than anybody else hitting a home run. Chris Culver's son hit a home run oh, yeah. and making him pay. That was that is awesome, isn't it? But there's a strike. Ball strike on the outside corner. Makes it three one here, CJ. CJ's not really a home run here though. He's not, but. It could happen. If there's any time I want him to hit one, it's right now. <laughs> and here's the pitch. Ball hit hard to shortstop. It's bouncing, but he does come up with it. Long throw in the dirt, but he does make it in time. About a half step. First baseman's doing a good job over there. He's handled, he sure has. Handled some tough throws. I'll bring up Evan Ratcliffe. Evan Ratcliffe. One out here in the top of the fifth, right, Robin? Yep. There's a strike. Curve ball. Yeah. When it comes to that. And the pitch. That's high. Walks around and gets settled on the mound now. One ball, one strike, one out. Ball hit hard to left field. And he's two steps back, and he's going to make the catch in the sun. He was playing that right. Round number one. Round number two. Oh, two, sorry. Round number two there. He didn't hit it hard. He did his hard. Bring up Cooper. Cooper, yeah. Cooper's been putting it in play. He's need to hit it. Not at somebody like that. Oh, His third, third base comes up with it. Yeah. Makes the play at first. And by a step, he gets him. So that's going to be out number three. We're heading to the bottom of the fifth. Rob Mart leads 8-1. to one. WZOT Rob Mart. W270CE Rome. Hey, baseball fans, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmart. And just like your favorite baseball player works hard and prepares for the season, we work hard at Dave's to make sure we've got the biggest and best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs around. Dave's has been taking care of its customers since 1959. Located right across from Rockmart High School on Highway 113, or check us out at daysrockmart.com. Remember, Today is the day. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, the funeral home that has been providing a strong arm for our friends and neighbors to lean on for the past 76 years. We are proud of the young folks of our community and wish for them success on the field and off. Freeman Harris Funeral Home, Rock March very own. You're listening to Rock March High School Baseball here on WZOT, brought to you by John Purser Allstate. Now and then, Antiques. The Nathan Dean Agency, Advanced Rehab. And now back to the action of Rockmart High School Baseball. All right, we're back at the Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Torlein, Danny Forsyth. Going into the bottom of the fifth inning, Rockmart leads 8-1. to one. And, uh, Danny, it's, it's been it's been kind of a quiet game, really, other than a couple home runs. I want home run and just a couple hits, but other than that, it's been quiet. It has. It's kind of, kind of quiet even in the stands, you know? Yeah. Of course, we can't really, I don't hear them well through the headset. Yeah. Griffin back out there. Nice pitch on the outside corner. Him off with a strike there. Yeah. 
And the pitch, another strike, same spot, beautiful spot. He swung at that one, though, and missed it. Hole and two here. And the pitch. Hits that ball straight to center field. It hits the ground, so it's down. So he tries. So that single is by Berkeley Mays Boutique, your source in Rockmart's children clothing, uh, down on 107 East Main or Elm Street. Open Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Friday from 9 to 4. Some Saturdays from 9 to 4. Uh, Berkeley Mays Boutique for children's clothing. Go down and see them. I'm going to have to go down there and see them so I get more information so we can uh, talk about it some more because uh, I didn't know it was there, so we're telling you it's there. Y'all go visit. Let us know about it. All right. Ball one in the dirt there. That ball's going to be hit. Cooper, yeah. Cooper catches it. Got him. Nice out. Nice out. I think the son got Andrew Morrison sooner. He got a bad jump on that other ball. Yep. He's staring straight at it, too, out there. A little frustrated himself, I'm sure, but he did yeah. a good job. Didn't get by. No. One out here, bottom of the fifth end. Good location, yeah. though. Griffin seems to be throwing the ball a little better this inning. Yes, he does. Foul ball. Yeah, what's the guy went off Dylan's wrist or something? It, got hit, it hit somebody. It definitely hit. It didn't hit Blue. I don't believe it hit Dylan. I think he got his shoulder there when it went by. Shoulder, wrist, they're all about the same location. Still hurt. Yeah, it's smart. <laughs> Any way you look at it. Yeah. But he's smiling. He's coming back. Taking a beating today. Because I can take one in the grill. I can take one off the wrist or shoulder or knee or whatever. Whatever. 1-1 one, one count here. Here's the pitch. That one got away there. Five. I have to change balls here because that one's going to be wet. So we're still in the bottom of the fifth. 8 1 Rotmar leads. 2 to 1 is the count. One out. Runner yep. to second base. New, new player here for Cusa, number seven. How can you tell? Because his uniform is all white. Uh, no, because it was where the pitcher was earlier. Ball hit the shortstop. He comes up. Oh, they got him hung up. They got him to run down. Nice job hey, there. Uh, <clears throat> Cooper ran him down yeah. and tags him out. And turns around, looks at the runner, so he can't advance the second. So, Ty Floyd, it would have been a tough play to get the guy out first. Makes a fake throw to first. So the second baseman takes off. Well, he gets in a rundown. Good job there. Now there's not a runner in scoring position. There's two outs. You can play a little bit different now on your defensive strategy. Absolutely. Just back up now and keep everything in front. Sure. Steps in the plate. And here we go. Just a little bit low there. All right, steps back in. Now we're ready. Griffin takes his time. He's good. So, uh, All right. Comes the 1 1 pitch here. Face. Wing and a miss. Yep. They didn't chase one there a little bit down. Here comes the pitch. Oh, good Strike three. That's a Claybird strikeout. 
um, Claybird's perfect pitch selection down at Claybird's Boutique. 1075 Nathan Dean in a triangle shopping square. They've got uh, cotton fried teas. They've got some other teas we're going to talk about tomorrow that I learned about. Um, they've got some bracelets. They've got some shoes that are amazing. I'm going to try them on when my wife's not looking. Uh-oh. And don't tell nobody. But we'll be right back in 60 seconds. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmart, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal Housing Opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Hey folks, RW Laundromat, located on Elm Street here in Rockmart, the cleanest laundromat in northwest Georgia, offers state-of-the-art washers and dryers, TV, and free Wi-Fi while you wait seven days a week, or take advantage of our wash and fold service. We offer extra-large washers for the big loads. Churches, businesses, and ball teams are always welcome. That's RW Laundromat here in beautiful Rockmart, Georgia, and go Jack. Robert High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock uh, going to the top of the sixth inning. Robert leads 8-1. to one. And uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit. I think the nights, like I said, is going to be cool tonight. Um, and uh, But the Jackets haven't cooled off. No, they're red hot today. Scored three in the first, three in the second. We talked about them having a late bloom the last couple of games. They got to start off early here, and they got two more in the fourth inning to make it eight to one. We're back to the top of the order here with Andrew Morris. Maybe we can get us about three more, Robert, and put this one away. I know. Put it away. Let's go ahead and get home. Three or four. But we'll have to play the other half of the inning now since we're the visitors tonight. Yep. But most definitely. <clears throat> Drew digs in. Oh, that one. That one went to the fence. One of them 56 foot curve balls there. Yep. Have to wipe that ball off. Yeah. One over here to Andrew. Pitch. Right, right on the outside corner there. One and one here. Comes the pitch. Curveball fouls that one off. Down left field line. Coach going to run it down for us. And the pitch. That's outside. Two balls, two strikes. No outs. Eight to one score. The Yellow Jackets are ahead. Come two, two pitch. Oh, right at the first place. Just did that smooth. Put the glove up okay. and that's out number one. Had to catch that one. That's self-defense over there. <laughs> yeah. Either catch it or take it off the, the Kusa. Sam, yes. <laughs> Sam Sanders steps up now for Rob Mart. Third baseman's playing up, so he probably won't try to advance unless he was the first on the button. There's a oh. hit. That is a base hit up the middle. All right, actually down for a third and short. So that base hit is brought to you by... Berkeley Mays Boutique down at uh, 107 East Elm Street. They your source for Rockmart Children's Clothing. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 9 to 4, and some Saturdays, 9 to 4. Put a runner on with one out. Bring a up, fast runner on. Bring, bring up Dylan Bailey. 
They throw it back over, but he was already backing up before the ball got there. Back easily. There. He's going to have to lead off a little more than that before uh, something like that happens. Yeah, last time Sam, he went all the way to third on an overthrow over there. Pitch. A hit Hit's Dylan. Dylan Bailey arm. And Got him on the arm. He's just been going down, so Dylan's getting hit when he's behind the plate. Gets hit when he's back. Had a tough game today. Only place you don't get hit is at home. I know. Well, you never know. I don't think that he doesn't. Mama might have had that hit him. <laughs> so, I think we're having something go on here. We're going around talking to the catcher about something. Making sure he's okay. Maybe he got a piece of that, too. It was a double ricochet. Yeah. Got them both. So, they're out here writing something down. It must be... Uh, Braden Cole's coming back in to hit. Okay. I wonder why. Uh, uh, why is there coming in to hit, Daddy? Oh, man. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Gosh. He ain't, he always has done is had a double and a home run. And a home run. Let me get that sheet ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that a walk, a walk, a double, and a home run today. Please. You'd be the man I wanted up to class. Exactly right. Here's the pitch. Oh, hit hard. It's a base hit. That's another double. Well, it's going to score one. For sure. And it's going to leave Dylan out there at second. So, that's a Burley May boutique base hit. 107 East Main, or East Elm Street, excuse me, East Elm Street, not Main, East Elm Street. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is 9 to 4. That's your source to get all your children clothing. Now steps up, Ty Floyd. One out and two men on. A little bit outside. Just a touch out. Well, it's nine to one, Danny. Nine to one. We need two more runs, Danny. I, I could make that happen. And here's the pitch. That's high. Not with that one. Oh, God, Brady. Brady's been sleeping. sleeping down on first base. Wow. That's not going to make a coach very happy at all. No. So that's uh, out number two. Wow. Catcher made a great throw down. He did. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't. He's getting an earful over there. Oh, it's Lewis, I I'm think. Sure he is. That's the pitch to tie. Ball in the dirt. Can't advance because the catcher does a great job blocking him. 3 0 here to tie. Man, that really hurts because now you don't really have to pitch to tie. But, yeah. You can do it. I can't. I can't I know. trouble. Yeah, you get. You probably would too. I might get hit harder than you. <laughs> and here's the pitch. Oh, ball hit hard. Base hit. Right side by Ty Floyd. Dylan looking. Thinks about the throws coming home. Not in time going to second. Gets by him, so Dylan's going to come home. So, then. The catcher throws in the second, gets over his head. So Ty's going to be safe at second. Dylan's safe at home. That's going to be another Berkeley Mays boutique single by Ty Floyd. Then he goes to second on an error. They're down at 107 East Elm Street. Open some Saturdays, but they're open Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays from 9 to 4. Go down and check them out. So it's 10 to 1 now. 10 to 1. Raise that read count. We still got to let him bat, but we want uh, we want him to score from second. Well, high. Made a big hit here, Reed. Ball's high. Reed do a big hit here. Yeah. Here's the pitch. Inside. Right there at the belt level. What? Almost hit the belt buckle. Just a little bit on the inside, baby. Make it 2-0 and here on Reed. 
stick back in there. The pitch. Curveball hit hard past the third baseman. That's, that's going to score Ty Floyd. That's going to put us up uh, 11 to 1. That's what we were looking for right there. That's another Berkeley May boutique single. Thank goodness he went out and did that today. I know. So if you haven't, I didn't know about Berkeley May's boutique. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't know about it. A lot of our listeners didn't know about it. But they're in 107 East Elm Street. Mr. Loveless didn't know about it, but he's going down there when we get done <laughs> to uh, check out the children clothing at uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays from 9 to 4. That's a little mountain Just, visit. Uh, walk to the mountain by Rutgers Jewelers. Yeah. And uh, go down and see them for all your custom design in jewelry and repairs since 1985. Contact them at 103 West Church Street, 770-684-4444. And they're going to change pictures, so we're going to take 60 seconds and come right back. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home, being the only locally family-owned and operated funeral home in the area, they give wonderful personal attention to you and your family. To find out more about their services, call 770-684-5437 or visit alvismillerfuneralhome.com. Your personal information is very important, and when compromised, can lead to big security issues. Don't trust your information with a here today, gone tomorrow company. Call somebody with reliability and stability in this community. Barnes Tax Service, 770-684-7556. Robert High School Baseball, on WZOT 101.9 FM, AM 1220. All right, we're back at the Rock, and uh, got, Johnny. got one of the guys coming in from the bench. It's all clean uniform, so it's, we're going to call him Johnny because we don't have the uh, gentleman's name. So Johnny's going to take over the mound for Kusa. And, uh, what was this, top of the six? Top of the six. Scored three runs this inning, so it's 11 to 1, Rothmark. Um, 11 to 1, so we can wrap this thing up here in a yeah, minute. If we can shut him down without scoring next inning, sure. I'm pretty sure Mr. Shelton's going to come in and shut this thing. Sidearm Shelton. Has he been over there warming up? He is. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty proud of his saves. and uh, uh, this, is, this isn't really a save situation. And he really. just got an offer I know. from Shorter. Yeah, all right. That's awesome. I mean, I uh, think some of the guys are looking at him, too. Well, I'm I'm real proud of him. He's, uh, he's a great young man and... Uh, Pretty good side on pitcher. Yeah, he is. All right, so CJ Culver steps up. CJ's in here, and CJ is walked and grounded out to the shortstop twice today. Hit the ball hard every time, though. Find himself a hit. That one skips off the plate there, so. Ball one. Catch you trying to dust the plate with his spikes, and that's never going to work out. It's never works out. I just, just can't seem to get that one spike to get all that off there. So, and he, not only did he just miss, but he hooked some dirt with his other half of his shoe. I keep texting Chris Culver, messing this video up for his son. Oh, uh, okay. That ball's a little high. Two over here to Big Jack. Gonna dig back in looking for one to hit. And the pitch. In the dirt, ball. Uh oh. He tried to pick Reed off over there at first. First baseman throws it to second with his glove. That's pretty impressive right there. He's just trying to keep it from going to. He did the scoop with it going to second base. Here to CJ. In the pitch. Uh, was a strike. Strike on the outside corner, right down the middle, outside the middle, outside middle. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. He was taken all the way. 
You want to send it? Throw that one again. Over about four inches. Here's a pitch. Oh, oh we hit him. On that one over about eight inches. Yeah. That gun. You don't get hit. You don't want to get hit on three one. Yeah, I've never seen. He wasn't smiling on that one. That must have hurt. Yeah. Must have missed his elbow pad there. Yeah. <laughs> what good is an elbow pad if it doesn't hit you there? Not going to stick it up there. Where... Hmm. Well, that'll bring in number 19. Pinch, pinch, pinch it for us. Mason Watson. <coughs> he can hit that ball a mile. He can. He's a big old kid. Let's see how we get this right again. Yeah. There's two outs, runner at first and second for uh, Mark. Oh, guess who got the, the daddy wall now? Uh-oh. Getting ready for next inning. I told you. It's the daddy spot right there. Dead giveaway right yeah. there. Yeah, you know who's pitching next. Yeah. Here we go. Two outs, two on here. A little outside. I'm telling you, he puts the ball in the wrong spot. This might be 14. He's going to put it in the right spot. Oh, what a miss. Just a little behind on that one there. He was going for the middle school. He can make his mind up a little quick. And the pitch, curveball that stays. Oh, it dropped down. It did come down. So, I wouldn't hit that one. I uh, should have hit that one, though. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And the pitch. Ooh, just know. misses that one. Just misses it. Ball oh, ricocheted all the way back to the pitcher there. Mason gets his money's worth, then. Yes. <laughs> it's a contact here. It's a one and two pitch. And almost. That's a foul down the right field line. Out to the parking lot. Yep. And it's still rolling. It's still going. I think that ball wants to go to track. Might be over there at track practice in a minute. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Rob Martin's up, 11 to 1. Yeah, Curveball. A little bit high. Stayed high. Same spot as the last one he called strike, but thank goodness he didn't call this one. I strike. know. So it's 2 2 count, two outs. Kind of a brave throw. That throw makes the pitch up there anyway. Yep. Yeah, that's a... Two runs in, two runs on base. Let's see what we can do here. Fouls that one off. Straight back. There's McDuffie coming out to get the ball. He'll be bad next. He's going to be hitting for Cooper, looks like. If we make it that far. Some cars get a baseball situation going there. All ready to go. Two balls, two strikes here to Mason. Curveball. Strike Got three it. called. So just like that, but we got three runs that inning, so it's we eleven did. to one. Danny, if we hold them here, we're going home after this. We're going to the bottom of six. Rockmart leads eleven to one. Rockmart Rent to Own invites you to come by and see our brand new showroom. We have added lots of square footage and filled it up with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, and Simmons with new merchandise arriving every day. Be sure to come by and see Scooter and the whole crew. Mattress specials every week. And of course, we also have appliance deals for every need. We also have the best propane prices in Polk County. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Closed on Wednesday. Open Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Close on Sunday. Call 770-684-5314. Located at 966 Searshana Highway, Rockmart. Rockmart High School Baseball on WZOT 101.9 FM AM 1220. Hi, we're back on the rock going to the bottom of the six. Rockmart leads 11-1. to 1. If we hold them here, that will be the ball game. It'll be the fourth 
uh, 4-0 in conference area play. That'd be great. And uh, sidearm Shelton, Logan Shelton's coming up to pitch for us. Closer. The closer. The only thing he doesn't close is his closet door to his room. Uh-oh. He likes to leave that open. Oh, okay. That's what his dad said. He hates the closet door being closed. But everything else, he closes. All right. Scared of the monsters. Scared of them monsters. Need a... so Dylan Bailey's coming back from going out there talking to him. Dan Merkins is wiping off the plate. Got to get it clean for the beginning. Here. It's great. I mean, you know, he can come over to my house and sweep my floors. I know it. Dan's retired now. You know that, right? I know he has plenty of time. I know. You need, you need him an extra job. Yep. Here comes the pitch. Uh, that's a little bit outside. Yeah, it's a little bit outside. That sidearm coming from low, you know, sometimes pulls your body a little bit farther. He just, just a little bit outside. Just kept, just kept going out there. Yep. Comes the 1-0 pitch. Foul right at the on deck, batter. That was much better. That ball had some nasty stuff on it. Gathering up all the baseballs there. Comes the one one pitch from Shell. Ball went man. high on purpose and uh he he went after, so good pitch location. Now we got him one and two. Oh, good pitch. That was really, really close. Just man, I don't know. I didn't swing her. Yeah, I mean, it was a ball, but that was a great location. Yeah. Two strikes. You have got to go after those. Wow, he just got fooled, I guess. The pitch fouled out of play. Out of play, right side. Back here behind the dugout. Still two balls and two strikes here. Batter digs back in. Shelton makes a sign, and here it goes right now. A little bit outside. Just missed. Kind of pulled Dylan away from his spot, so you're not going to get that call anyway. Now you just got to rear back and throw. Ball's going to hit down to first base. Evan comes up with it cleanly. He takes it down by himself for round number one. How many saves does Shelton have? Does it, say on there? it doesn't say on my sheet. Well, uh, you know what? It probably, yeah, I think it does. I think uh, we're talking about Jeff Sharp here. I was going to say Jeff, Jeff Sharp's Sharp, stats. He has it all. He has stuff on here. I don't even know what it is. How many trips to the restroom they go? Yeah. All that stuff. So here comes the pitch. Beautiful pitch. Call for strike one. If I get on the right, right page here, he's got batting stats, pitching stats. Swallow on a miss for strike two. That just had him coming out of his shoes trying to get that ball. Well, Mr. Shelton is three for three in the state department. Ball hit down right field line. Fair. That's going to be fair. Gonna be He's going to take off the second. And he'll be a stand-up double. He just barely got away with that one there. He just poked the bat at it, but it was a good hit. Can't take nothing away from the batter. Good hit. At this point, that's not what I wanted to have happen because the chills are starting to come on. I know. So, the other batter's coming up now. Show comes set. A little bit outside. outside. You know, Logan got a sub one earned run average, so he's. Wow. He doesn't give up many. <laughs> Hopefully, we can improve on that here today. Ball oh, just missed on the outside edge. Let's shut it down right here, buddy. Two balls, no strikes here. Number nine hitter. Let's get him. There's a strike. Good location. Hit that outside corner. 
perfectly. Two balls, one strike. There's swing well, and a miss. Yeah. Couldn't tell whether you wanted to swing or not, so it's a half swing, but count right all, two. Counts all the same. Yep. Comes to two and two pitch. Logan steps off. And the pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three. Strike three. Strikeouts by Clay Birch Boutique. Perfect pitch selection by Sidearm Shelton. Go down and see the Clay Birch Boutique. 1075 Nathan Dean Shopping Center in the Triangle Shopping Center Square right behind All Star Motors. All still outside. We got two outs now. Two outs. Jack is with a 10 run lead here, so. Looking for that last out, Robert. And the pitch. Well, hit oh, first good. base line. Nice yeah. snag by Evan. He's going to come up with it Thank and take the out. So that's going to be ball game, ladies and gentlemen. This one belongs to the Jackets. We're going to take two minutes and come back and do the post-game show brought to you by All Star Motors. All right, I want to ask you something, but you have to promise not to laugh at me. <laughs> okay, what? Do you think the State Farm jingle really works? Like, for real? Like, if you sing the jingle, will your agent actually appear and help you out? Yeah, of course it works. I saw it on the internet. Contact Mary Miller at 1340 Chattahoochee Drive in Rockmart. Call 770-684-9193. Go see them on the web at www.marymillerinsurance.com. Now you can get a great-looking cut in less time every time with an X-Mark, the Mowers Landscape Pros Trust 2 to 1 over the next best-selling brand of mower. The friendly staff at Haney Farm and Ranch is experienced, knowledgeable, and available to advise you on your needs. Telephone 770-684-7277 or visit them at 150 Prospect Road in Rockmark. X-Mark, ready to work for you. Hey, baseball fans, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. And just like your favorite baseball player works hard and prepares for the season, we work hard at Dave's to make sure we've got the biggest and best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs around. Dave's has been taking care of its customers since 1959. Located right across from Rockmart High School on Highway 113, or check us out at daysrockmart.com. Remember, Today is the day. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmart, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal Housing Opportunity, member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Here's a real post from a real Chick-fil-A guest. At our Foodie Ventures writes, Quick lunch today. A Chick-fil-A grilled chicken club sandwich never disappoints. Chicken emoji licking lips emoji. Thanks, our Foodie Ventures. Glad Chick-fil-A could be part of your ventures. It's the little things that make our grilled chicken club sandwich worth the trip. Like the backyard grilled flavor in every bite. Also, did we mention it has bacon? Insert bacon emoji. Share your stories at Chick-fil-A with hashtag the little things. Hey folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors in Rockmart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website, where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All-Star Motors in Rockmart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. Rockmart High School Baseball on WZOT, 101.9 FM, AM 1220. 
All right, we're back for the post game show. All right. Uh, Robert Torrey and Danny Forsyth. Brought to you by All Star Motors. Uh, they said, you got a job, you get a car. That's right. So they'll take care of you. Just go down to see Bill and the people down there. They're friendly people, they'll take care of you. Uh, they can't help you. I don't think anybody can. So uh, if you want a car and you're serious about it, go see All Star Motors. But Danny, 11 to 1 victory today. Even though we were playing at home, we were visitors. We started off uh, with three runs. That was great for us. Three runs in the first inning, three runs in the second inning. That's, that's big. You know, the Jackets, they got helped by a bunch of walks first inning. Right. But then they come back and ended up, you know, with nine hits on the game. So we got 11 runs out of nine hits and eight walks, which was a big plus. But, hey, that's part of the game, man. That is part I of the mean, game. You know, this got to take bad pitches and hit the good ones. Yeah. So that's yeah. what they did. You know, the big thing was, you know, we didn't make any errors playing defense either. No, so no. that's a that's a, and we didn't only walk a couple batters, you know. Uh, so we pitched well, fielded well, hit when we had opportunities. I don't get get a good win for the Jackets today. Yeah, it's, 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 it was a very good win for the Jackets. Win, I mean, it's kind of like you said. I think the weather helped the batters coming. You know, Braden Cole hit the big home run. That was that was cool. Yeah, always cool to hit some home run. And and. Leading into next week against Chattooga, that's very important. Right. That's, yeah. That's our head to head challenge yeah. uh, that we need to take care of. So even bigger than the home run though, we had three straight doubles one in. Oh yeah. Cool. Man, yeah. that was cool. That was cool. I mean we we were hitting the ball hard today. Hitting the ball so. hard. No slump today. No slump. No slump. No slump. No slump. Pitchers throwing hard, throwing yeah. well. And we got hit by pitchers too. So. Well we did. A little bit of everything. Yeah. A little bit of everything. Beat Dylan up a little bit today. Sure, sure. So they, they hit him at bat, hit him behind the plate a couple times. Yeah. Oh well. But no, uh, it, it was just a great day for the Yellow Jackets, and uh, uh, we definitely needed that. So, I don't know. So, we're, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, real quick, come right back after this message from All Star Motors. Hey, folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors in Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website, where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an all-star day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. Okay, so here we're back at the post game show. Uh, wrap the game up today. Like I said, Jackets beat Cousa tonight, eleven to one in six innings. Uh, had a, had a great night to play. Uh, we were uh, airless in the field, so that's always a plus. Uh, like I say, come out and uh, support the Jackets. They're going to play tomorrow against Cross County rivals over Cedar Town. Going to come over and play here. The Jackets lost to them earlier this week, I think it was. Uh, so it'll be 12 o'clock here tomorrow at the Rocks, the uh, Rock Mart versus Cedar Town. And uh, if you could come out next week, you know, we got got uh, two big games next week against Chattooga, who's the, who were tied for the lead in the region. Tied, yep. At 3-0, and so uh, play them on Tuesday up at their place and then back here Friday. We definitely got Cedar Town tomorrow noon. So Cedar Town tomorrow noon. Gonna be a great game there. Great day for baseball. Oh yeah. No rain. Yeah. No rain. Might be a little cold, but but no rain. Well, that's par for the course around here yeah. anyway. It's cold. Supposed to be no rain next week too, so yeah. so we get to play hopefully get all those games in as well. So we wanna get some, some good region play in. We wanna stay undefeated if we can. That's right. So head up to Chattooga, like you said, on Tuesday, okay. five thirty. Got a beautiful place up there to play. They do. But uh uh, then we'll be back here Friday, 5.30 as well. Correct. That's about all I got, Danny. What you got? So we want to thank uh, All-Star Motors for sponsoring our post-game show. And uh, go down and see them. If you got a job, you can get a car. That's your that's your credit. It's your job. So uh, for Robert Troy and Danny Forsyth, you all have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. See you tomorrow. 
Hey folks, it's your old friend Bill Sherpsey at All Star Motors and Rock Mart. At All Star, where your job is your credit, you can buy here, pay here, and cheer here. That's right, we have an on site insurance rep to offer you very competitive rates. That makes us a one stop shop. Check out our new website, where you can view our inventory and even fill out an online credit application. That's at www.allstarmotorco.com. And always remember All Star Motors in Rock Mart, where every day is an All Star Day. We've got that unforgettable phone number, 770-684-CARS. That's right, 770-684-2277. 